Hi, my name is Ivo Gerskovich. I'm the Chief Brand Officer and Senior Vice President at Sega. Um, I oversee the, uh, the Sonic brand, and uh, we're here at Comic-Con. Let's talk a little about the role Comic-Con's playing in celebrating the 25th anniversary of Sonic. Yeah, this is, a, this is an incredible show, and there's so many of our fans here, and, and with us here tonight for the 25th anniversary, we have over a thousand fans that are here and, and, and bought tickets, a lot of VIPs, we have a ton of press, and, uh, and it, it's just been absolutely incredible. We're making a lot of new announcements, and we have thousands of people that, are, uh, that watch the, the live stream. And people can hear some really loud rock music in the background. Talk about the band that's playing and who you guys have here. Sure, we have Crush 40 playing right now, June Sanoe, and, and everybody knows the band Crush 40 from all the Sonic games. So uh, really, really thrilled to have them on stage. Talk a little about the announcements you guys have revealed here at Comic-Con. Okay, we've re uh, we revealed Sonic Mania, our collaboration between uh, Sega of America and Christian Whitehead and Pagoda West and Simon Tomley, the guys who have really worked on uh, quite a few uh, Sonic uh, mobile games and done the porting, and they're absolutely fabulous. They're incredibly uh, passionate and develop absolutely great games, so we couldn't be more thrilled to be working on, on, with them on Sonic Mania. What is that game all about? So it's a, it's a classic 2D platform and kind of like a neo-classic, a new classic with a lot of new, uh, new zones, um, uh, enemies moved around, physics moved around, new animations. So it's a really, it's a, it's a step towards the past and a step towards the future at the same time. So we have reimagined classic levels and brand new levels that people have never ever seen. So we're, uh, we're taking the whole sort of retro theme and putting a big twist on it. When and what platforms will that be out on? Uh, that's going to be on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and uh, PC. Okay. And when? Uh, spring 2017. And what else are you guys talking about here at Comic-Con? Uh, we're talking about Sonic 2017. We, uh, we just did a, a teaser for that and uh, at the party. And we talked about a Sanrio collaboration too, where we did a mashup of the Sanrio characters together with, uh, with the Sonic characters, the Sonic universe. So that was a lot of fun. We also uh, talked about uh, LEGO Dimensions and the, uh, the Sonic pack, which is really, really cool. Showed a video for that as well. And uh, a lot of different consumer products as well, including from, uh, from Insert Coin, Drop Dead, and a lot of other, uh, a lot of other great products from from companies around the world. So Sonic 2017, talk a little bit about that. I can't really say too much right now. We just revealed the uh, the teaser trailer, but very exciting, very big, very epic, and it's by the uh, the development team that worked on uh, on Colors and uh, Generation. So it's uh, it's a whole new original title. When it comes to merchandising, I see a lot of that around here. Talk about what you guys are showing off new and what role that plays with these fans. Yeah, we have a lot of merchandising here. We have a lot of companies working on really high quality, great products, companies all over the world. The idea is, you know, fans want to engage with the brand. They want to show their pride. You probably saw outside the party all the fans wearing their Sonic gear. You know, all of us. So, uh, so it's really a fun thing. We have limited edition and exclusives here at the party up at the, st uh, at the store. And uh, they all just about sold out, so I think there's not much left at this point, but really sought after products. Why did you guys choose Comic-Con for this type of activation? I think the timing was great. We've been working for over a year, or just about a year, to get everything ready for this very moment. All of us are now based in Los Angeles. We have uh, leading uh, Japanese development executives like Izuka-san and Hoshina-san who have moved to LA. And the idea is that this is the team that's going to make Sonic not just a game icon, but an entertainment icon and energize the brand and take it to the next level. So we're all in one place. And what we've seen traditionally, when, and when all the minds are in one place and all the ingredients come together, that's when the best content comes together. So we're really focused on making great content across games and mobile and a film that's in the works and television, our, our TV shows on in 100 countries around the world and rating very well. So it's really an exciting time for us. What is the latest when it comes to the Sonic movie? Um, it's being produced by Neil Moritz, who, um, who was a producer of The Fast and the Furious, together with Sony and Mars Animation, our sister company, and Sega. We're all working really, really hard on the, uh, on the film. However, I can't say an exact, uh, an exact day when it'll be out. When it's ready, it'll be out, but it's going to be a thrilling wild ride for sure going the CGI route as we saw recently with Angry Birds? Uh, the plan is a hybrid between uh, CG and uh, live action. What is? What are your thoughts in terms of what we've seen, the success of Angry Birds at the big screen, what that rolls out or foretells about Sonic on the big screen? Yeah, congratulations to them. The movie was great and, and did really well. I have a lot of friends who work on the team over there who worked on the film and really, really exciting. We hope that's only a sign of things to come when, we, when it's time for our movie, but uh, the film was very funny and I think they did a great job. What was the thoughts in terms of doing a hybrid live action with CGI versus straight CGI? 
You know, a lot of that was done before I came here, so I really, I really couldn't tell you. When it comes to uh, the television show, talk about the latest with that. So we're now producing season two. Season one is on in 100 countries around the world. Uh, it's also streaming on Hulu right now. It's rating very, very well among all demographics. Young boys, uh, men, women, uh, housewives with children, the young kids, uh, girls. It's doing really well everywhere. So we're really happy with our partnership with Cartoon Network here in the U.S. and with a lot of networks like Ghoulie in France and others all over the world. Really, really tremendous. And for season two, we're really dialing up all the great things that work. The, uh, the humor, we're going to add action. It's going to be a lot of great uh, things that I think the fans will really appreciate. How do you guys connect the television show with things like mobile and other games as they come out? Yeah, it's all part of the Sonic Boom universe. So uh, you probably saw the uh, the latest Sonic Boom uh, mobile game. It's all part of the same universe. And uh, back at the party, we announced Classic Sonic uh, and Green Hill Zone was coming to uh, to the mobile game. So that's uh, that's what was a really nice surprise too. Can you, can you explain Sonic Boom and where that fits into the overall universe versus Sonic Dash and Sonic 2017 and other games? Yeah, Sonic Boom was uh, was a, uh, an entire effort to connect video games with the TV show and a lot of the products. So it's really a unifying brand that works there. It's also on the television show a way to bring younger fans into into the brand and for them to get to engage with uh, with the Sonic that they may not have grown up with. So it's a little bit uh, of a different uh, brand, a little more humor based but it's doing very very well and, and when you look at the ratings there's a lot of uh, older people watching it as well so it's really fun it's quite a phenomenon between young fans and old fans male and female it's a very broad reaching show and we're very proud of it what do you think it is about Sonic that has stood the test of time for 25 years now Wow, there's so many reasons you know I think um, one the concept of speed is something that's always fascinated people since probably the beginning of mankind and then even through the Olympics one of the first events uh, back in ancient Greece was I forget it was a hundred meter two 200 meter dash so it even goes way way back but I think uh, even more than that it's just his attitude his personality his heroism um, and his design you know he's just a slick gray looking character that is ever blue you just mentioned the Olympics Mario is still part Mario and Sonic are still part of that franchise yeah Mario and Sonic at the 2016 Rio Olympics just launched in June on Wii U and also in 3ds a little bit earlier the game is doing very well we're very happy with it and it's a fun game so uh, so yeah well, are you guys going to give it an extra push with Rio? Uh, absolutely. So we're waiting for the Olympics, and uh, and then absolutely. So we're hoping fans, you know, watch it on TV, get excited about it, want to partake in archery and soccer and a million other sports that are in the game.